how to use HTML ID attribute and what is the difference between the classes and ID attribute but before we start our tutorial this day please don't forget to like share subscribe to my youtube channel so this will be my youtube channel thank you guys so let us start so HTML attribute is used to specify a unique ID for an HTML element you cannot have more than one element with the same ID in an HTML document so ano bang ibig sabihin nito na you cannot have more than one element with the same ID in HTML attribute so using the ID attribute specify a unique ID for an HTML element that value of the ID attribute must be unique within the HTML document the ID attribute is used to point to a specific style declaration in a style sheet. It is also by JavaScript to access and manipulate the element with the specific ID. The syntax for ID is write a hash character followed by the ID name then define the CSS properties within the curly braces. Katulad din sa HTML classes natin ay ginagamitan siya ng period then uh, ID name, uh, classes name rather, then followed by the curly braces. So let's have our example. So let's add our CSS. So we have our ID name. And let's add a hash then followed by the ID name then curly braces so let us refresh our browser so this will be the example and let's add some content of each one so we have a that's a pressure browser so the id attribute uses a style element with the id my header so ito yung id natin my header then ginagamit ito natin sa style natin so next example Difference between class and ID. A class name can be used by multiple HTML element while an ID name must only be used by one HTML element within the page. So, ano bang ibig sabihin niya? HTML class is, pwede siya magkapareho yung class name niya. Pero yung ID name, hindi siya pwede magkapareho. Pero pwede siya maraming ID, pero hindi dapat magkapareho yung ID name. So, let's add a... So let's add another class. Plus. So we have two classes and same class name. Right, so let's add our CSS. Our class is we are using that then followed by the class name. And curly braces, we have background color. So let us refresh our browser. So we have two class and same class name and one ID. So itong padding color or text align we discussed this topic in our CSS tutorial don't worry you can research in W3 school in advance so that you can learn more about CSS you can learn much more about CSS in CSS tutorial 
So let's have a example of bookmark with ID and links. So this this will be the example of ID and class. Lagi nyo lang tandaan yung class name ay pwede siyang paulit-ulit yung class name pero yung ID pwede siyang gamitin in different element pero hindi siya ulit-ulit yung ID name. So let's have our example in bookmarks. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng bookmark ID and links? HTML bookmarks are used to allow reader to jump to a specific part of web page. Bookmarks can be used full if your page is very long. To use a bookmark, you must first create it, then add a link to it. Then when the link click, the page will scroll to the location with the bookmarks. So, let us raise this example. And also our CSS. Then, example, we have a So let's add a three chapters. And let us add our link for bookmarks. So let's add it. Let's add a ID name of this chapter 2 and this chapter ID so you can add this hash to So let's try this example. Let us refresh our browser. Then we have a three chapters. Then let us click this chapter two. Oops. What happened? Ah, okay. Let's add a more chapters. Okay, let us refresh our browser again. So it will go to in the chapter 6. Okay, let us check again. So uh, chapter 6, and dito siya sa P element. Dapat yung dito siya sa H2 element. So chapter 6, okay. Then you can click this chapter 3. So it will go to in the chapter 3 section. So you can search using the ID attribute in JavaScript for basic JavaScript. So thank you for watching. God bless us all. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.